Right, we've got a, a rationalizer denominator. Now, it's not a particularly nice one, because, uh, uh, but it's no different, actually, to any other. It's not nice looking, but it actually it's exactly the same as you've seen before. So you know that, and I call this uh, root p cubed, you've got a times by the special one, haven't you? Or Jose Mourinho, I sometimes call him. So um, there you go. So that's what I'm multiplying there. Now there is another way of doing it. You can you can actually simplify this here, okay? But I, I'm not going to do it that way because I don't think many of you will see it um, see it that way. So anyway, let's multiply this out. So we've got uh, seven uh, root p to the power four minus p. Is it p cubed? Is it p squared? I can't remember. Oh, it's p squared. I do apologise. So that should be p squared. P squared root p cubed all over p cubed. Now I'm going to have to do some simplifying here uh, because the square root of p to the power 4 is just p squared. All right, And this here, and this is what I was talking about um, simplifying this, I could rewrite this as p root p. Okay, Because I could say that p cubed, uh, sorry root p cubed it's the same as root p squared times p, which simplifies to this. All right, so that's what I'm going to have to do here. So I'm actually going to end up with p cubed root p there over p cubed. Now, I've got to simplify and just be a little bit careful here. You're still going to end up with a p on the bottom. There's, I can cancel a p squared at the top and p root p is the answer. Like I say, I could do this bit here, all right, right at the beginning and multiply through by root p, but it doesn't make any difference. I don't think any any many people, sorry, will spot that. So there we go.